Hi Capricorn Sun Moon Rising, I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the healers, and the light bringers of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit the subscribe button below with the bell so you can get notifications for all the videos that I'm sharing here on this channel. We're going to dive into your Mar month of March 2021. What do you need to know? What message do the angels have for you? And how can you best navigate? this month and I always say that everything that happens as part of a reading is part of the reading okay so I'm gonna share this with you guys I love a Capricorn and uh, I, I forgot you guys okay I forgot to film this video and I do feel like that is potentially part of the message for some of you this energy of feeling forgotten this energy of of feeling looked over. So I want to start with that. I want to start with acknowledging that, but we also, I, I eventually remembered, right? <laughs> and we're here filming this. So, so understand that that is a temporary thing. Understand that this feeling that you're having is part of something bigger. And we're going to talk about that now because I feel like this month there's very much a focus on searching for more meaning in life and that that need that want to to find meaning in life in and to live a more meaningful life to live a more purposeful life and if you are honoring that that's really going to help you through this month if you're allowing yourself to explore that and ask that question how can i live a more meaningful existence what would make my life feel more meaningful i think those are really important questions for you to be asking yourself as you are navigating this month there's an energy that i'm feeling where, where you get to this place where you are taking a look at where your life is and you are either recognizing, wow, I'm just really not where I expected to be by now. I'm really not in the place that I had envisioned for myself. This isn't the vision that I had for myself. Or the other part of this energy is you, you're exactly where you expected to be, but you don't feel the way that you expected to feel. And this is really triggering this exploration of meaning, this, this need to seek out purpose. I think it's really helping to support that. So hang in there because I think what's happening is you are working with God on creating the next chapter in your life. You are co-authoring the next chapter of your life. But I really want to emphasize that word co-authoring, right? And there are times when you've got to put the pencil down and you have got to hand it to God. You've got to hand it to your higher power. You have got to allow yourself to flow. And that's another thing for you this month is the more that you can just allow yourself to flow this month and to notice what's showing up for you and to not try to control it too much, the better. Because again, like we want to put our intentions out there. We want to focus on the things that we want to be doing to be an important part of this co-authoring. But we also want to make sure that we are allowing God to show up for us. And I think if we allow God, the universe, whatever you want to call that, to revise the story, to make the necessary adjustments, you're going to find yourself in, in a happier place. You're going to find yourself in a place where you feel the way that you expected to feel, or you're feeling the way that you're wanting to feel. And um, it's a journey to get there, but I, you're going to get there. And, and so this is about trusting in the journey, trusting in the process, and allowing yourself to co-author the next step of this journey. And some of this is about, okay, where do I need to make adjustments to this vision that I have? You know, what still is part of the vision and what have I been holding on to as part of the vision just because like it's been the way that it's been for so long that I just expect that it's part of the vision. And do I even still align with the vision? And, and what do I align with in my life? And what do I not align with in my life? And what new intentions do I want to put out there for this next chapter of things? Because I do feel like you're on the brink of a, a new chapter with things. So what aligns, what doesn't, and letting yourself explore that. What makes me feel fulfilled? What makes my life feel more purposeful? exploring that stuff and using that to set some intentions for yourself moving forward. And if you're not clear on your intentions, I would keep it really simple. 
I would keep it, you know, I want to be happy. I want to have peace. I want to um, be thriving in every area of my life. And it's okay to keep it simple, especially if you're not really clear. I feel like it's a little confusing, to be honest, what, what you actually want and what you want to ask for. And so I think if you can stick to the basics, you give God that flexibility to show up for you in the ways that are destined for your highest and best good that are meant for your highest and best good and you give that space you create that space to allow for really magical things to happen for you so so allowing that and I, I feel like the other purpose of this is is also in just like developing a trust with with God in in developing a trust that even though it doesn't look like what you expected, that there is a higher purpose in everything that you're doing. And sometimes we get really frustrated with that, right? I, I don't know about you guys. I throw temper tantrums sometimes. Like, why is this not working the way that I, why isn't this not what I asked for? Or, you know, why isn't this working the way that I expected it to? And the answer that I always get back is because it's not your best path. It's not the right timing it's not your best path and and so um you have to trust and and there's a, a level of trust that comes with that and you know when i say best path you know um oftentimes best path is not the same as our most comfortable path it's it's very difficult i'm a taurus right we like to be comfortable and and so it's very difficult to be uncomfortable. And so I'm constantly being reminded that, um, you know, I'm not here to be comfortable. I'm not here to, to experience my most comfortable path because at the end of the day, I'm here to grow my soul. And if I'm comfortable all the time, there's not a whole lot of room for growth. There's lot, not a whole lot of room for uh, learning. Okay, so understand that your best path may not always be your most comfortable path, but it's gonna be your most aligned path and it's going to be your most fulfilling path. So I, I feel like I have a feather on my nose. Like, um, <laughs> it's just, I, I don't know, I can't get it off, but um, it just feels really fluffy like a feather. Maybe it's just a hair, but maybe that's an angel feather, right? And, and maybe this is your angels that are wanting to let you know that everything's gonna be okay and that they're with you so much so that they're like up my nose right now. <laughs> so, so trust, trust your angels, ask your angels for help. Understand that they're going to help guide you on your best path, that they're gonna help carry you through the uncomfortable things and show you the way and show you what's next. And like when I first tapped into this energy, the very first thing that came through was that it's going to be an incredibly mental month for you, okay? A very in your head month. And so if you allow it to move in that direction, it's gonna be really easy to be overthinking, obsessing, spending time in your head, um, you know, spending so much time and wasted energy on worries and thoughts that just do not serve you. And so this is your message to really be mindful about what is taking up space in your head and what you're putting your energy into and can you redirect some of your thoughts can you talk back to some of those voices in your head that are more negative that are self-defeating that are um just not supporting you or helpful to you as you are navigating this process and can you find a way to choose better thoughts and really consciously focus on that this month because if not, I think you're gonna spend a whole lot of time and, and quite frankly, a lot of anguish going through all of these thoughts because it's very stressful. Have you ever noticed that when you have a negative thought that feels very different than a lighter, more positive thought, right? And sometimes when we can look at things from a different perspective, it makes all the difference in changing the way that we feel. And so allowing that perspective shift, allowing that to happen for you and not allowing these thoughts that don't serve you just to, uh, you know, live rent free in your head. We don't want that. I think that there's a also to, to sprinkle this in, right? You've got a lot going on, but there's a lot of past healing happening for you guys. There's a lot of old stuff being stirred up where if you notice that you have memories, if you notice that you have old patterns being stirred up, if you notice that 
it seems like a lot of old like old stuff that maybe you even thought you dealt with is coming up take a little time and deal with it take a little time to cry take a little time to talk about it take a little time to journal about it take a little time just to process it we don't have to live in that energy but feel it and process it because there's an opportunity to work through some things there's an opportunity to release some current life karma and past life karma that's showing up for you that is really serving as an energetic block. And so if you deal with it, if you let yourself feel it and process it and go through it, then you're really going to find yourself uh, moving forward. You're really going to find yourself stepping into this next chapter, chapter that's coming for you um, lighter and in a different place than you would if you uh, didn't let yourself do this work. So notice what's coming up for you. Recognize it as a gift. I know that it's a pain in the ass to do our old work and uh, to do that shadow work and to take a look at that stuff that we would prefer to just stuff down. But the problem is you stuff it down and it's still there. And so when we can deal with it, deal with it. This is, I mean, for, you know, for some of you with these two energies combined, it's going to be a tough month. This is a great month for you to get extra support, even if you, you know, with friends or with a therapist or um, just somebody that you trust that you like to talk to. This is a great month to just have a space where you can process things and explore things and work through things so that you aren't dealing with that moving forward. It's like, let's take care of it now so that I'm not moving forward with this. The other thing is I want you to be thinking about what seeds are you planting, right? What seeds do I want to plant for my future? What seeds do I want to plant for this next chapter of things? Okay. So we, we we're determining what doesn't align for us anymore. What needs to be released and taking steps to being released to, to releasing that, but also what seeds do I need to be planting? What actions do I need to be taking? What thoughts do I need to be exploring? What ideas do I need to give more energy to? What seeds do I need to be planting to set myself up for a more purposeful life, for a more meaningful life, for a life that feels more in alignment with how I want to feel? And so thinking about those seeds and, and then thinking about also control, right? I, I like, I get the word. That was the other thing that came through loud and clear control and, and to hand it up, to hand up control, to relinquish control, to understand that it's always going to be better if you hand it up. And the sooner you hand it up, the better off you're going to be. So doing something to consciously hand it up and to trust that your higher power is going to take care of it. So last thing that I have for you, I did feel called. I haven't been pulling cards, but I did feel called to pull a couple of cards from my um, Find Your Magic Oracle deck. So the first card that we have here is the Soul Connection card. Okay. So a really beautiful energy. This is talking about magnetizing important soul connections in our life, whether that's a romantic partner, whether that's, um, you know, like friendships, other connections, these beautiful soul connections. So there's an opening here for you. And so know that you're magnetizing that. It might not arrive this month, but you're magnetizing that you're beginning that process of pulling that closer to you. The other card that I pulled is the look up card. Okay. So how perfect is that when we're talking about trust and flow and surrender? And this is all about Number one, looking up and just trusting that there's something so much greater than you that is always helping, always guiding, always supporting you. But this is also about actually taking the time to look up, to go outside, to spend time looking at the sky during the day, when it's sunrise, when it's sunset, when the stars are out, when, you know, looking at the moon, spending time underneath the moon, anything that is going to just give you this feeling that that we get when we look up because it's incredibly powerful. I actually just posted in my story today, um, how did it go? Something like, you know, that, that stargazing or looking at the sky is free therapy. It's true. It's true. And actually there is research on that, that says that that's something that truly, truly helps with depression. And I think it's because it just helps us to feel really connected to our creator and to remember the promise 
that we're always being taken care of and that we never have to do this alone. So those are your messages for the month of March. Thank you guys for uh, being patient with me and not getting this video out, video out right away. I appreciate you all so much. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button below. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity, you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button below. Thank you guys. And I will see you soon with another video.